Okay, so I'm driving to work right now, but if I could just make a little mini title of right now in my life, if this was a mini sermon, I would just call it Suffering on Display. And right now, um, my Bible Bowl group, um, no, 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 my, pa- my, bo- my, my Bible Bowl, my pageant group is doing the topic mask off and so god has just been allowing that thing to pervade my life right now like so suffering on display like right now i'm teaching seventh grade history and i'm definitely suffering on display like i'm obviously not feeling well and looking tired and like you can see all that I have to do on me on my literal appearance and like yesterday coming out of my grad school class I just looked at myself and I'm like girl you look 10 years older you know and um I just think about I don't know where it's in the bible right now but I will find it but when he talks about uh how Jesus was up there on that cross and as he walked through the people and he was Spit, spit upon and humiliated and, and mocked and called the king of the Jews and you know he uh, um and he was beaten and bruised for our iniquities and everything else brutal brutal that they did to our Lord and he was suffering on display because the people who loved him the people who looked up to him were right there were right there around him his mother his disciples if any of them came because they were scared but you know all of his followers or all of the people who had once seen him as powerful were right there watching him suffer on display so imagine how much how humiliating he must have felt how um you know different from his uh normal image he must have felt how far from his identity he must have felt to be the son of god then you the top person you the top person in everything like you're completely perfect so you're the top you're the best you're the winner you're everything you're at the top so but he was brought low in that moment and to his lowest point in the world And so I just want to take some time to say, Jesus, I feel you. Like, I see how you felt because like me being a history teacher and being in a master's program, this is the most, this is the best, most, you know, uh, this is the fulfillment of what I wanted for my career. And yet it's so hard. (laughs) Like, so it's like Christ, he knew he had to get on the cross and die so that he could return to the father and so that he could get the keys of life and of death but at the same time he still had to do he still had to go through the cross and the suffering and the pain and so i just want to encourage somebody like if you're in that place where you're suffering on display just hold on hold on with me because we're gonna do this and and look for god in the moments when you are in under pressure and look for him in the moments where you are overwhelmed because he is going to even be in those moments like God in your mind, allowing you not to be so stressed out that you're making tiny mistakes, you know, allowing you not to panic and and just forget that, oh, I can click right here and this will help me. Or, you know, let me use a strategy like writing all these names down on a sheet of paper with the grades beside them before I try to post them this morning because they were due yesterday at 530. You know, like he will help you with all of that. And so don't look at me because I'm already telling you, like, I look a mess. I'm, you know, this is suffering under, um, on display for me right now. So don't look at how I look right now. But anyway, I just wanted you to know. All right. I pray that God bless you and that you have a totally successful, triumphant, beautiful day in, in Christ's name. All right. Peace.